You know, homesteading isn't easy at all. You know, there are times where it's amazing when you're having animals being born and they're cute and you see success with things you've planted and grown. But the reality is, is that animals get sick, animals die. Sometimes you can't do things and things break and you can't fix it and you don't know how to fix it. Homesteading is hard. So I'm at the water mine which is filled up again after we pumped a lot of water out. Um, I tried to start this pump yesterday and it wouldn't even make a spark. So I am, I've got some petrol. I'm going to fill it and see if that'll, if it's just a petrol problem. If not, then I actually have no idea what to do. Um, yeah, this pump badly needs a service. It needs new spark pl plugs. So if there's anybody out there who's in this area who knows how to service a pump, Please get in touch. I'm just looking. It had fuel in. It's not empty, so I don't know why I can't get it to start. Honestly, this is when you just want to cry. Um, it's almost taken on a few occasions, but um, I, I can't move the accelerator. It cuts out before I can even move the accelerator to get it going. So, just keep trying hopefully it'll take i really those ibc tanks are getting empty i need to fill them otherwise it's gonna be buckets and bottles of water so now i'm getting it um it starts but it just won't take so it cuts out after like one second so I'm not sure, it's not even time to move that little accelerator thingy. Okay, the cord has just come right out. So um, definitely no pumping. So um, yeah, no pump. No way to get water to those IBC tanks. This is quite um, distressing. I'm just sitting in my shed feeling a little bit depressed because um, I was going to go and out of the chainsaw again today, but after that pump debacle this morning and um, not being able to pump water because now the pump is broken because I pulled the rip cord right out of it, I don't think I should be close to a chainsaw today. Yeah, this is ups and downs of life on a homestead. And um, this is when I wish that I knew something about engines and how to pump water. But, yep, yeah. Dems de brakes. Of course, um, this is Murphy's Law. Things tend to go wrong after the anonymous plumber goes. So um, this pump is doing that like surge thing again, which means that it's not actually pushing enough pressure to the hot water cabinet for um, you to be able to get hot water. So I'm not sure what it was that Nick did before, but that's going to have to be done again. I am going to get new filters for these um, filter things, because as you can see, they definitely need to be replaced. Are you following me? So yesterday when I was uh, checking on the solar, I see... Um, my friend, the brambles, are all around here. So 
I need to cut this back. So I'm just gonna give it a couple of snips. I know people say one should dig it out, but it's not so easy. With um, it growing between granite stones. But yeah, if I can just cut it back, that I can actually access things here. And that'll help. And I know people say wear gloves. Let me tell you, no gloves, no gloves. Stop the bramble prickles from getting to you. Right, maybe cut back a little bit here around this door area as well. I just keep cutting it back. Maybe it'll give up. <laughs> I don't know. Does Bramble ever give up? <sighs> That's better. I've cut it back. Yeah, Smudge likes to follow me around the farm. Here comes Patches is hiding behind there. But yeah, I've just cut it back a bit so you can actually get to the cupboard and uh, solo without being snagged on brambles. So I'm at the fruit and veg farm store to try and see what I can pick up for pets. This is like a happy place. This. So I'm at the Anonymous Plumber's um, favorite shop in Castilla Branca, but I need to get some more filters uh, for the house's pressure pump. And while I'm here, I'm going to have a look at pumps. I can't afford to buy one, but um, I need to sort of know a ballpark figure that in the future, I'm going to have to uh, invest in. Unfortunately, when I look here, I have no idea what I'm looking at or what I need. Everything seems to be electric, so one would probably need a generator to go with it. I'm so out of my depth, I don't even know if these are water pumps or just generators. Okay, I'm thinking I might now actually have found the water pumps, but I don't know how they work. That one's a very big one. This seems to be like a water pump. This is a Honda. What are they selling this for? There is even a price on it. There's no prices. How are you supposed to know what? Wait here. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, no, it's a Honda. Let's see. Maybe this can make it a bit bigger. No, that can't be the price. Surely. Surely. These are, I suppose this is the kind of thing I always look at. That one's, this one is 557 euros. This one, I can't see that. Maybe if I move the camera, I can see the price. There, it is 523 euros. This little one, 633 euros okay I don't know if this will be too small this one is 412 euros 
Yeah. Maybe, maybe 2025. I can get myself one of these. So I've got the replacement um, filters. I don't know if I got the right things. These are 25 micron. I have got no idea what that even means, actually. Um, they don't have the same one that I had before. In fact, he said he's never seen it before. So I don't know. Um, hopefully these will work. So I've just got back from the vet. Um, she wanted me to be at her surgery at six tonight uh, to pick up some meds for William, the ram. And... Uh, Somehow, now, I have to catch him, hold him, pass myself the syringes and inject. He's got one injection um, in the bum, one under the skin, and um, one orally. And I don't know how I'm going to hold him and lift up his skin with one hand and inject him with the other hand. I actually need three hands. I I actually had a good cry on the way back from the vet, trying to think how I'm gonna do this by myself. Now I can just cry with happiness. I managed to give the oral injection, the intramuscular, and the one under the skin all by myself. He was so good, I don't know if he'll be this good tomorrow, but he was really good. So the last two of Gingerbread's piglets, not counting the piglet Reese's Pieces, which is up with the others, um, they're going to be going to their forever homes today. So I have managed to get them in the cage, waiting for the people to come and fetch them. So um, I found this quite a successful way of getting the piglets ready before um, people come and fetch them is I just put food in the cage, the piglets walk in, I close the door and yeah, it's far less traumatic um, than the mother's not going crazy and they're eating, they're not going too crazy. So I have opened up the gate so that um, gingerbread can come in um, with Coca Pop over here because gingerbread keeps knocking her water um, over and I've got like a wallow area here and she can come and use the wallow and not knock the big water barrel over. Coca Pop I've seen this morning has um, a sore, open sore on her face that I'm going to have to attend to today. Um, put something on so that uh, flies don't lay eggs and get maggots. So, yeah, that's my job today to um, put something near her jaws. <laughs> but she's very, very good and lets you scratch her and whatever. So I'm just going to have to get some I think the spray can might not be a, I might use something um, instead of the spray can because I think spraying on her face might be scary. So I do have something else I can put on. But aren't these little blonde piglets of hers so cute? So yesterday I was feeling quite depressed after that pump broke and um, even more depressed looking at um, prices of replacement pumps. So um, today I have woke up feeling positive. I'm going to gather all those um, blue 
big blue containers. I think they're 30 liter containers. They might be bigger than that, um, that I have and um, going to fill them up and uh, keep them in the van because then it'll be easy to just turn on the tap from the side of the van and fill buckets. So I have a plan of action. So I have some distractions here for Coco Pop while I try and treat that sore that she's got on her face um, so that I can hopefully get to it from here. But she's busy feeding babies at the moment, so I have to wait for her to finish. Flies on, it's like closed up, but it looks to me like she's got actually got like an abscess or something, but it's not causing her pain because she's eating okay. So I have put um, like a disinfectant, like iodine, on it, and I've put uh, that other, like a antiseptic disinfectant mist on it as well. So I'll treat her again this evening. But it doesn't seem to be worrying her at all. Oh, here you come, gingerbread. You're wanting something now. I'll give you something. So I've got quite a lot of um, veg from Anton again for the pigs. So I've got these three big water containers that I'm going to go and fill up now from the town water supply. And uh, I'll keep them in the back of the van that I can just decant water using their taps into buckets. That one doesn't have a tap though. So I don't know why that one doesn't have a tap. It just doesn't have a tap. Okay. So yesterday... When I was feeling sorry for myself because um, the pump broke. So I've got three pumps. Only one is working, but it's at the big well I use for the IBCs for the house and, and down here. So that the big pump fills two, three, seven IBC tanks. Um, so I, I don't want to move it. Um, the anonymous plumber has a suggestion how I can maybe connect onto it. Um, it's quite complicated. It took me a while to understand. But um, I have now found a place um, in Orca that will um, repair pumps and service them. So maybe, I don't know if these are fixable they might be able to do something. But what got me out of my funk was my young daughter last night and I'm feeling sorry for myself. And she says, mom, you didn't have a bad day. You had a bad moment that in your mind, you milked the whole day. I think very, very smart, Siobhan, very, very smart. Um, you definitely got to be my daughter because that's the kind of thing I would have told you. Oh, obrigada. <laughs> so we all lined up at the water over there. So I'm going to try and do my water plan for buckets. Um, just using the tap on the water thing. And uh, to fill their water for them that they've got something to drink. Um, some very kind man from the village, he helped me. So the whole water thing took five minutes. So I bought him and his friends all a beer. So hopefully they'll help again. Waking up quite a sweat, but uh, William's 
injections went well again. Gave him uh, last night, he had this morning, and I've just given him some more now. So hopefully he'll be on the mend. So my next task is to try and change these filters with the filters that I bought. I don't know if they're the right ones, but I've taken them out of the packaging. Um, I do have this spannery thing. I don't know what it's called. Oh, here it is. That I think you're supposed to. I don't know. Somehow, are they supposed to get it under to get around to take this off? I'm going to give it a go. I'm being dive bombed by wasps here, so I might try this early in the morning rather than now. Um, when the wasps are sleeping, I don't know, I can't even see a nest over here, but they are dive bombing me when I try and get close to this pump. Okay, I've just tried again. Um, these have been uh, man tightened, so um, with my arthritis hands, I'm not even getting the thing to budge. I've cut back some of this, um, these oak trees, found another pine tree in the meantime as well but cut back oak trees so that um, I can get my van up here because um, where we put the fence, um, it is on the road that was here. I can see I've got to, um, my aim is I've got um, a water thing that I want to fill the sheep's water over here um, and I just wanted to get my van up here so I can get it in the doorway and then like tilt it to To fill that I don't know if it's gonna work because it's very heavy to lift so that's why I thought I'd get a bit closer um, But I need to come back a little bit more to be able to get right next to this um, Water thing for the sheep I did manage to scratch myself on branches so I have this wrench thingy. I'm going to try and see if I can untie. I don't know. I can't even see how it's going to fit. It's too wide to fit. Yeah, I need a different wrench. This isn't going to work. Um, because I've got to try and untie the or unfasten or whatever these pipes so that I can take the pump to see if it can be repaired but um, I think this wrench or thing pliers or whatever it's called is not gonna work yeah I can't even get these to grip properly it just slips off and this has been once again man tightened I can't um, I've been trying for a while now and this particular one which the anonymous plumber said will definitely work it won't even grip because I think the grip things are too thin it's early in the morning and I'm already in a big sweat because I've been wrestling with um, those fixings or fastenings or whatever on that pipe but um, yeah this the anonymous plumber says this will open it and open anything I can't even get it to grip I've tried all I'm doing is just scratching the fitting and um, and I've even tried by hand or whatever it's just it's fastened so tightly um, yeah I've tried. I've tried. I'm admitting defeat. Um, maybe I'll try with different uh, set of, I don't know what it's called, the wrench or pliers or whatever, but um, not working today.
So I'm going to tackle this end part of the path over here now and just fix this in and then I'll carry on the rest that's going out into the patio area. But this end part I'm just going to work on now. So I've basically done sort of like the end of the path that I had started but this now has to join onto the patio and also around the barbecue area so um, it will be continuing but I've done I've done this section today so I am very pleased with that let's hopefully it'll dry nicely I'm not sure how much this blue container holds if it's 30 liters but this is my second one of the day i did 30 liters this morning i did a whole big blue container this morning and another one so i'm going to have to be filling them every day but anyway this system works now i just decant it into buckets to um, fill up the water trough goodness my good friend Greg came he managed to undo the pump like faster than the speed of light he lost his pants in the in the meantime but wow Greg power so Greg is laughing at me because in filling the bottles I've accidentally filled the wheelbarrow with water as well what do you think Greg <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Well, so I tried to lift up this wheelbarrow, but because of the water inside it, it's too heavy now. Yeah. But, yeah, I might need to let the water out the wheelbarrow. What do you think, Greg? Where are we going? Up um, all the way up to the top. How do you usually get up there? Yeah, up here. Well, yeah, up there, all out this oh, gate. Here. Yeah. Okay. But I don't think you're going to be able to move it, Greg. Because, oh my goodness, Greg is wetting himself. <laughs> You're like a power machine, Greg. I know. It might be a good idea that we decided to shelve the wheelbarrow by the looks of it. Yeah, the blue one you can just lean over the way the, the thing is i think ah. this opening is maybe too far in <laughs> but they drink <laughs> like a whole thing of this of water during the day and they're not actually drinking very much during the night oh. are you sheepies Oh, you're all coming to check. Yeah, we're just going to empty these bottles now into the wallow. It's not going to make much, but it'll dampen it so that they've got mud to roll in. Action. Oh, okay. Action. Action. Wallow 
actually hold hold water, but they roll around in it, so the water doesn't stay around for for long. But you see, they as I'm pouring now, they are they'll be drinking from this as well. So. I'm just wanting to, if I, if I make like the, the soil and whatever cool over here, then they can at least cool down. But today is not a very hot day, actually. We might have thunder showers. Yeah. Oh. Then I better put my line away. It's up, I suppose. <coughs> But usually this whole wallow is full of water. Cool. Mm. Yeah. But um Clarence drinking. He's drinking Clarence. <clears throat> yeah. Because some of them their faces are a bit fat. To fit in the water trough and when the water goes <laughs> down it's not easy so mm. i've got to have water here as well as in like the water trough is empty so i'm, I'm going to have to fill a blue barrel to pour water into that now so they've got water during the day because it's very important wow. to keep your animals hydrated otherwise so. they become pork chops Otherwise, they become hot. But at least they've got like a puddle. Oh, yeah, that's the, that was the aim with this one, just to make a puddle. So this is like a big rock over here that you just pour on and then it goes into that. Snickerdoodles coming for a drink. And maybe a swim. I said Snickerdoodle is coming for a drink and maybe a swim in this puddle. My lucky day, Greg is going to help me fill these up so I can turn the wheel. We can take turns turning the wheel so you can experience the wheel. I, I've done this before. You. Yeah, you've helped me before. Yeah. You are the greatest friend ever. So Greg managed to undo. He also struggled to get it undone. He said they were like beyond tightened. But anyway... He got it eventually and uh, so this will go off to the um, repair people hopefully they can repair and service it because it's a bit of a nightmare situation at the moment <music> good feeling to be prepping for winter with firewood right so just to offload it now and stack it in this um, wood area woodshed area okay filling up filling up 
all of that still has to be cut into smaller pieces so and then of course I've still got to gather the firewood on the farm so once this is all cut up that's gathered it's all set for winter and in the meantime stay sane stay safe and I'll see you in the next video